There's something you need to know. Miss Harvey was my first mother-in-law. I was her first daughter. I could come over here anytime I motherfucking want to. My picture's on the living room counter. I take your mother to church. I take her to sea town. That's why when you bring them busted ass bitches around your mother, she call them out their name because there is no love like a mother had for her first daughter-in-law. Nigga, what? 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 It's something you need to know. Come on. Come on. Miss Harvey was my first mother-in-law. I was her first daughter. I could come over here anytime I motherfucking want to. My picture's on the living room counter. I take your mother to church. I take her to sea town. That's why when you bring them busted ass bitches around your mother, she call them out their name because there is no love like a mother had for her first daughter-in-law. Nigga, what? 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 What's good? What? She love you. What? What's good? That's why I watch all the episodes of CSI Miami in first 48. My crime scene gonna be the shit when I finish with her punk ass. Since I watch all the episodes, I know exactly what to do in the interrogation room of the questioning. You never blink. You get away with shit. There's like this. When the last time you seen her? Four days ago. school and I love it. I'm not like the young cats. They spend hundreds of dollars on Patron at the bar and I'm not mad at you. I'm old school. I can't do that. But you know what I will do? I get an empty bottle of Patron. I put Gordon's chin in it. And I give it to my lady. She'd be like, what type of Patron is this? I'm like, bitch, this is Patron La Fa La La. <laughs> Drink the fuck up. I'm on school. I don't have no navigation in my car, player. Y'all think y'all the shit. Y'all get in the car. Don't you the address, bro. I drive my father's 1969 Buick 225. Electric. We don't have no navigation. If I need navigation, I got my Atlas maps from the gas station. I'm on school. Harlem, page 19, F4, Harlem. I'm on school. I'm on school school player and love it. Let me tell you something, family. I don't take no showers. I take baths. That's the problem with you young people. Too many showers. I'm old school. I'm 45. My nuts are down to my knees now. I got the soap these motherfuckers. I soap my nuts. That takes time. I get my candles by my bathtub. I got a lot of film play. And I scrub these nuts. Hi, ladies. I'm going through some shit, family. You're right. Can I share what I'm going through? Preach on it. Playboy. My side chick left me for another nigga. You know I went home and told my wife about this shit? I said, how this bitch gonna do this to us? You 
know who I miss the most? My side chick son. He's nine years old. His name is Jordan. I miss him. I miss this little man. That's my side son. No, that's my side son. We went to war. Boy, he's like, you are the side dad. You are the side dad. Then my side chick gonna have the nerve enough to take me to court, player. I said, what are you taking me to court? She's like, nigga, you got to pay side support. I'm like, buddy. Birthday boy. Hi, boy. I lost my phone, player. <laughs> Family, I lost my phone. With all my numbers in them. The new phone, the Blackberry Bowl, flying shit. So I figured before I called T-Mobile to disconnect the service, I called the phone. I called the phone. This nigga picked up the phone. I was like, hello? He's like, hello? I said, Playboy, you got my phone? He's like, yeah, call me back in 25 minutes. I'm gonna call him. I didn't wait 25 minutes, wait 90 seconds and I called him back. Guess what? This is new voicemail on my old phone. <laughs> and three days later, T-Mobile sent me another phone. I had insurance, right? I get a text message from this nigga talking about yourself. We need more minutes. <laughs> Where my ladies at under 30 years old? Clap you under 30 years old. Clap loud. Clap loud. You no, clap loud. Clap loud, you under 30 years old. Kiss my ass. None of you young girls know how to cook. Yeah, I said it. I was messing with this young girl, 28 years old, on the Lord's Day, Sunday morning for breakfast. She gonna bring me a warm bowl of fruit loop. I said, what is this? She's like, play me on the Nigga. What are you doing? <laughs> well, they know I can do that. Round of applause, your work. Round of applause, that job. Round of applause, clap, you working. Clap. The recession is on. Clap. I'm going to keep it real. I'm not going to lie to you. I travel all over the country doing comedy, but I keep my day job player just in case this shit don't work out. Three years ago, when there wasn't no recession, I used to talk shit at my job list. I used to tell them, let me tell you something. I'm not working the 515. My daughter from the daycare center. My daughter's more important than any job. I have some education. I get a job anywhere. I told y'all when I started working here, I had to pick up my daughter. So write me up. Do what you have to do. I'm out of here. I will take this case to arbitration because I know my rights. I'm going to pick up my daughter. But now the country's in the recession. I'm like, I could work the 730. It's like, what about your daughter? I was like, I told her how to cross the street. <laughs> Thank you very much. I saw my time. My name is Sean. Put that beat back on, man. Put my beat back on. Thank you so much. I love you. I also got a DVD on Sunset Pop, man. Because I'm an old school player. That's what I said. At 9 o'clock, I'm going to bed because I'm an old school player. It would be, ladies, because I'm sexy. I'm sexy. I'm 45. I'm still alive. And I feel like I'm Thank you so much. I love you. I love you. Sean Hall, I appreciate you. Thank you.